Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some uh, Lilia mid versus a Yasuo, and it is the new season, or new split I should say, it's the same season. So a lot of changes have come through, and the reason for playing Lilia mid is because the Blackfire Torch is now within regular League of Legends, and this item, in my opinion, makes it so you can play Lilia now, because... Uh, in the past, you could go Lyandries, but then Riot changed it, removed its mana, and that obviously uh, made it so Lilia really struggled in lane because you just go, ooh, all the time. You just run out of mana immediately. So now, when I build Lost Chapter, I'll have way less mana issues, and then eventually uh, finish the item. So, <coughs> so yeah, um, that's what we're going to be doing this game. Uh, this matchup against Yasuo should be not easy uh <clears throat> the way that i would beat him would be being able to land center w because the center of your w hits for 280 damage and that's without conqueror stacks if you get conqueror stacks you get ap the more ap you get <clears throat> then the more damage it will deal so yeah um, that would probably be the only way of beating him. Spamming Q and whatever. If you can land a few hits, yeah, maybe it's okay, but... <clears throat> the W is the main uh, damage source for the early game. I'm just gonna... Not do anything here, just chill... Tank the minion so it didn't crash, so I have an easier time last hitting. Botling got double killed. Top lane already died. Did this guy, like, reset or something? Or did he just go top? Weird. Yeah, I missed my W, so I definitely hard lose this. At least I didn't get it by his ability there, though. Dang it, I can't be missing that. Dang, I even pressed flash at a good timing, but then he, he pressed flash too. I was going to flash backwards when he went for me. Obviously, a one for one trade, though, is completely worth... <laughs> Especially because I was getting ganked, too. This seems like a free kill. This guy has no flash. Nice. Not gonna be able to go for this guy. I'm just gonna go back mid. Got one kill for myself. Lilia scaling, in my opinion, feels quite good. Especially around 2 core, so... Until then, we're just... In a mildly losing state. Nice, I hit that Q. That's huge. What? You are playing too aggressive. You're just dead. I don't know why that guy's fighting inside of my wave. <laughs> Like, I'll just spam my Q and you just die. Uh... <laughs> nice, I hit him too. Alright, cool. So, I can buy my last chapter. I'll have way less issues <laughs> with now with the uh, mana. <clears throat> we are looking pretty good right now. My bot lane's losing, top lane's losing. But we're playing a champion that also totally can 1v5. Lilia is a 1v5 champion because when she gets fed, she pops the hell off really hard. So it's okay. Nice, I got that minion. It's because she has crazy AoE and her, uh, her ultimate's really good too. <coughs> so both of those things combined is... Uh... Makes her powerful. Yo, I hit the Yone. I mean, not that. Well, same thing. Yasuo, whatever. Oh, 
Huh? No pull? That's one. If you have pull, I'm down to fight. Okay. <laughs> I, if I get hit by that Ramus, I die, so... Because, uh, Ramus is a knockup. That guy's definitely dead. And I survived. Alright, cool. Three kills. I wish that Yasuo died as well, but, oh well. I'm just gonna throw down my E. If it lands on him, it lands. If it doesn't, whatever. <clears throat> Cost 1600 for this item. We're going to be building the brand new uh, component, which goes into Landry's and this Blackfire Torch, which is a damage over time component. So now dealing damage causes them to burn. That's pretty nice. When I land my passive, it, it applies it for three seconds. So this is going to last for six because three plus three. Not bad. I don't have my E available, otherwise I'd try to throw it at Pantheon. Didn't land on him. I'm on the way. I got the Scuttle Crab movement speed going. It's not enough, is it? <laughs> yeah, they seem kind of gone, guys. That was close. Almost landed on him. Got his shield. Landed the center of my W. Wow, he actually killed my Blitz. He also flashed for some reason. I'm not going to burn my uh, ultimate for a single kill on somebody who's 1 and 3. I think that's dumb. I'm going to auto-attack this once, then back away. Pantheon might ulti me, so I'm trying to respect that. Blackfire Torch is finished, so I got the burn. <coughs> what this does is that it, it causes damage over time, but it's flat damage instead of percentage like Lyandry's. So people who are squishier are going to take... It's more effective versus them. But we also get AP for each person that is burning as well. Um, gives good CDR. CDR is nice on Lilia. I want to go bot too. I'm on the way. Screw mid lane. Mid lane does not matter here. What matters is killing this bot lane. Okay, so that guy's dead. Boom. That was satisfying. Oh my god. <laughs> the Mumu literally sacrificed his life to try to kill me. Also, Neela. Oh, never mind. I got her shut down. I was about to say, it's weird that <laughs> sometimes uh, shutdowns don't exist until after combat, so I thought that I didn't get it for a second. But we did. <coughs> did 146 damage. Not really that much. It's still the highest win rate on Lilia, though. I looked it up. The, the best win rate for Lilia is building this item first. Let's buy... Let's buy uh, plated steel caps. They have so many AD damage dealers, and they also sometimes are, uh, you know, auto attackers to them. So 
This this item goes so hard. Lily already deals so much damage. <clears throat> I don't need more damage. I just need to be tanky now. So I don't get one tapped. Let's just help. Let's just screw the bot wave. Who cares about it? Blitzcrank, if you pull that guy, he's dead. Okay, never mind. Back bot lane, I go. I am worth a pretty big shutdown, so the enemy team should be focusing me at this point. I almost have my ult. Still just shoving out and looking to see if I can TP somewhere. Wow, that is uh, not looking good. I don't think that I can TP to that. Is Pantheon going to ulti me? This isn't that bad. I mean, we're getting uh, plates down bot. Just wondering if Pantheon's gonna ulti me. No, you went top. Okay, so it's chill. Stacking my movement speed on my Q. Not sure why they're trying to go for me, but okay. Ah, this is stupid. I'm not going to go. <laughs> I'm going to get myself killed. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, One thing that is kind of important for Yasuo versus Lilia is Lilia ult... I'm going to leave. I'm not going to be the versus this Pantheon. Lilia ultimate is a projectile and can be wind walled. So if he ever wind walls my ult then I probably die, because they can just CC chain, so. <coughs> Not sure why they didn't do that, but okay. Lion Reese is going to be done. Now we have double burn. The next item will probably be the Rylize, because I really like this slow. And the slow effect lasts very long, because I have damage over time on my abilities, so. Chasing people becomes very easy. The next item after that probably is going to be a Rift Maker, because Rift Maker will just increase my damage by 10%. So that includes all the percentages that I have in my kit. Instead of 2% per second, it's going to deal 2.2%, and my Blackfire Torch will deal more as well. So. <coughs> I'll, I'll TP into this. We need to kill this uh, Neela. Nice. Good job, guys. Got that guy. I wonder if they're going to give up. It's very difficult for them to come back as my team's winning so hard. I feel like I can take this. That's probably dead. Let's just be a jungler for a second. I don't have anything to farm, so denying this is going to make Ramus have no camps to farm. It's kind of huge. Uh, yep, there's Ramus. He has nothing to farm. Can we catch Panth? Mm -hmm. He might just rotate straight top. I don't have good vision. Oh, never mind. He went by. Probably going to have to ulti him if I want to win. He's going to take time to kill. Or he's just left? Oh. Hey. What? That misses? Whatever. I'm still gonna fight you. I think that I killed you just with this. 
yeah. I'm so fed to the point that just landing my ultimate into Q will always kill because <coughs> when people fall asleep and you wake them up with any ability, it deals damage. So it deals like 300. So 300 damage on top of like 300 damage. So I deal like 600 and you're burning the entire time when I ult you. Just like ticking for like 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> so all that damage just ramped up together is just so broken. I might get ultied. Maybe. By Pan. Wow, there he is. Look at that. Hey, man. Also, you can see that I'm healing. I just heal for 32 a tick. Are you gonna jump on me? Should I just kill that Amumu? I'm pretty fast here. I don't think I need to use my flash. <clears throat> pretty speedy. Uh, I'm gonna go buy my Rylai's. We're really, really, really strong now. Because now <coughs> we're a little bit tanky. So even if I get caught, uh, I could probably survive. <coughs> Beforehand, I was damage tanky, but I, I still took a lot because I didn't really have anything besides just Lyandries. But now that we have two things, 700 bonus HP, it's huge. It'd be kind of sick to land a five-man ult. I wonder if they'll ever group up again. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna come too, dude. Just, I, I like to go side lane to get fast because of my passive, so... Like, right now, I'm also just moving at the speed of light. Okay. Oh, yo, I hit a Moomoo. Look at that. Should I go in? Just ultium. One man ulti is kind of boring, but whatever. Does that guy die to the burn? <laughs> he does. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should go Shadow Flame. We should build Shadow Flame. Oh, wait, my team died. No. The Neela still is the biggest threat. Shadow Flame will just make it so people will uh, basically always get executed by the burns because all my burns will become 20% stronger. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe maybe I should go Riftmaker and then Shadow Flame. Riftmaker to give myself just the 10% uh, bonus damage basically at all points because I'll always have it stacked. <coughs> Rift Maker. Dude, can I buy this? No, I'm poor. I'm so strong. <laughs> oh. And I built another thing, a mask, so 6% bonus damage again. Because uh, the line Reese already has that. I don't have ultimate, so I don't want to fight until I have it. Then I'd be down where, like, even if they five-man hit me, it's it's fine. I, I can uh, maybe get off my ult. Oh, she wants her money. Hmm. I don't want to die because I don't have Zhonya's. If I had Zhonya's, I'd be totally down to, like, look for something, but because I don't have it. No hits on them. I'm trying to ramp up my movement speed here. I'm not trying to take farm. This is movement speed ramp. Let's move and speed ramp again. I got two man ultimate. We should win it now. Yeah. 
Yeah, GG. <clears throat> My team wanted to fight so hard there because uh, Yasuo's bot. So, it was 4v5. I mean, he does have TT probably, though. But I mean, because they're so far behind, or at least far behind me, they need to kill me, but they also need to kill my entire team. <laughs> and it's just like, they can focus one of my team members, I'm sure, but even if they do that, then I'll just carry. So it, it's such a difficult thing for them to uh, to come back from. I've played versus a lot of Lilias in Hyelo when they get fed, and it literally feels impossible to do anything. You just lose the game. It's actually so frustrating because she's too fast. <clears throat> She does a ton of damage. She has insane healing in her kit because of her passive that, what, it gives me 200 health against champions every single time I land an ability. <laughs> like, it's kind of ridiculous. <coughs> I might be able to literally run it down mid and just have the entire team try to collapse on me. Maybe if I get, you know, a Moom ultied into Ramistaunt, into Pantheon, into, like... Nila ult, all of that together, I could die. But if I get off my ultimate and I'm not immediately dead, I might legitimately be able to kill like a couple of them before I die, or even a few. I really want to be level 60. I just hit Yasuo with my E. <laughs> really? They're they're hardcore looking for me. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. <clears throat> they're all probably sitting behind Nila. Wow, that was some insane damage there, guys. How did my ability miss? I don't have movement speed to get on onto a Mumu there. I can't hit the turret, I'm too uh, vulnerable as a low range character. Let's just ulti both. That guy will die to the burn. This guy will also just be dead. I'm just gonna walk into him to stop him. So yeah, this was uh, the Lilia mid, guys. GG. Nila has given up. Blackfire Torch did about the same damage as Landry's, because remember, I bought this uh, before, so it should have more. But to have two damage over time abilities now is so... feels so ridiculous, because you're able to uh, burn for... As if you have double Landry's. And that already sounds broken enough, right? It, having double Landry's sounds ridiculous. So, GG's. Hopefully you guys enjoyed <coughs> the commentary. Sorry about the coughing. Oh. Pretty fun. Lilia Mid is back, dude. Finally playable again. Especially versus melee picks. I always enjoyed Lily against Yone Yasuo. It always felt pretty good. Uh, because even if you fall behind, your scaling is ridiculous. So, GG's. Uh, I don't know. I'll give it to Blitzcrank. He, he did some cool plays. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching once again. Have a great day. Did 32,000 damage. Uh, second highest was her, and that was 5,000 less than me, so big damn. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Yeah, so you spent 400 games to end season 0 P. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to game two. This time versus a Huey. This matchup is really hard. Uh, any control mage versus Lilia is just a free lane, so it's kind of challenging because... They have good range, you don't have good range, and the biggest part is that their crowd control uh, normally is not too difficult to land. 
So Ari, Hui, Syndra, uh, Oriana is probably kind of easier because she doesn't have a CC on a basic ability. But if I try to go for this guy, he'll probably just <coughs> he'll fear me. And he'll push me away with this fear because my fear makes me run away from him. So that makes it incredibly challenging to punish him um, until we're like level six. Then maybe you can. Because at level 6, then you can um, go for, like, a sleep <clears throat> and stuff like that. So, until then, we're just going to be struggling. Uh, thankfully, he has not landed a single Q on me. So, really happy about that. Good trades. He accidentally took a turret shot. I landed my E, landed Q, auto attacking a little bit, getting those conqueror stacks up. Not, not bad at all. Now, when he uses his E like this, this is my opportunity to maybe do something. Yeah, he's just dead. So, uh, my kindred ganks, I flash in. The reason for flashing in is because I wanted to hit damage on him and also. Uh, keep my stacks going without using it on like a minion. I'm gonna pop a biscuit. <coughs> we'll just sidestep that. <coughs> Jeez, dude. And then we get a base. Nice. Uh, do I want to go Lost Chapter first? I have enough for the new component. So maybe I just go for the Faded Ashes instead? We can try it, see how it feels. But yeah, we land at the center of our W. The center of the W, like, it feels like it half-lives people. That's how strong it is. So, you got me. <coughs> Very powerful ability that if we ever land it, we're going to win. That's just how it works. Man, I had landed on him, but I took so much damage there. Okay, good. I hit him. I wanted to hit him because I want that heal. This is this is awkward for me to rotate to. I got the cannon. That's all I wanted. Nice. It did 53 damage already. That's actually quite impressive. 58. Okay, 53 to what? 81. Dude, that's like 25 damage per hit. <laughs> that's, that's honestly really good. Looks like Hoi is trying to like maybe rotate on my team. <coughs> yeah, there he is. If you guys just let me shove out mid, he'll miss so much farm. Oh, my team's gonna get into a fight. I don't even know if I can rotate to this that easily. If they win without me, great. Like, that's awesome, but... Oh, am I just dead? Yup. I, I was desperate to kill the boy. I was upset that he managed to get something, so... Mistake, my bad. Well played by Nautilus. Can I can I bowling ball this guy? Nah, it wouldn't kill. Oh, he actually stopped his base because of it. Holy crap. <laughs> he he saw it going and he <laughs> Didn't want to get hit. The early game, in my opinion, was the hardest part. So going forwards, I'm just chilling. It, it sucks that Hui got two free kills, but whatever. <clears throat> Who cares? Top lane is also fed. Bot lane's a little bit behind. <laughs> it's okay. This is fine.
don't have my lost chapter yet. Almost level 7. Is this guy gankable? No. I thought Realm would maybe like go for like a flash play or something. I feel like I could have worked out. I could ulti him. I'm not going to though. Because he's full HP. I don't think I have enough damage to just one shot. Not to mention... <laughs> I kind of want to get my lost chapter. My mana pool is quite tiny. Wait, where does she go? Oh. Can I bowling ball her? Oh, okay. Well, she died. Nice. Wasn't an execute. Would have been really tragic if that was an execute. My turret, stop, bro. Dang. I was trying to get him, but he just left way earlier than I anticipated, so I just wasted my my E. Could have used it on minions instead. Let's just see if we can one-shot him. Close. One more Q will kill. Or E. Would have been funny if that landed. Got his ult. <laughs> what? Just gonna base here. Um, I don't really know what's going on bot side, but whatever it is, is not good. So that kind of is bad. <laughs> I don't want to go against the Fed Zaya who has an ultimate which could be used to dodge my uh, ult because it's a skill shot. Or not a skill shot, but like it's a projectile. She can use her ultimate to dodge uh, my ability. Okay, Kindred got the kill. Nice. Yeah, see how challenging it is even when I land my ability on him for me to even like find an opportunity to like fight back without my ultimate? It's almost impossible. That doesn't kill me. Oh, boy, he might try to kill me with his QW. Maybe. No? No boy? I don't have my item. I need 50 gold. This sucks. Yo, Kindred has ult. Nice. Good ulti. I'm coming in. No way. He just went away. No, oh, please tell me he dies, man. I just wasted my TP for nothing. Nice! Okay, guys. Huge. So worth. Good dive. Good stuff, Rel. Alright, I was doing that for heal because my passive heals me, but it didn't. it's not really healing me for that much. I'm actually taking more, I think. <laughs> I don't think I can fight this guy until I finish my item. All right, time for me to go. <coughs> I 
They have some tanky people because the Skarner also is just so strong. All right. I was thinking about if I wanted to go Murtreads or not, but it's fine. I'm just going to go for this. Botlane died. Koi probably gets kill if that Nautilus has hook. No? Wow, he's just trying to, like, diver or something. Maybe I can go bot lane? Wait, what? Ah, oh, he's just dead. He just doesn't matter. <laughs> nice! Great fight, guys. Good pick on the Hoi who went bot when he didn't need to. Be a dragon as well. And I can just go mid. <coughs> Too bad Zaya didn't die, though. It would be cool if she was, uh, she stuck around when she was low, because she tried to help the Hoi and then got herself killed. That would have been nice. I need to be careful by walking to her little feathers. I just want to farm. Damn, I really said it, and then I walked into it anyways. Nice! Flash for Flash is okay with me. That was the best case scenario out of the, a stupid play. <laughs> I almost got myself killed, but instead it's just a flash for flash. Nice. We take those. Can't afford this item. It's fine though. We'll get it later. Wow, this is very aggressive. One person dead. <coughs> There's her ult. This Kindred still has ultimate, though, so there should be theoretically no way to lose. Nice. <coughs> I feel like everybody's playing well enough that this should just be a dub. Feels that way right now. Level 2 ultimate is gigantic. It, they sleep for longer... I'm just looking to see if I can find anybody because I have Rel with me, so it would be cool to pick someone. Gonna start this because we're just trying to get movement speed onto my my stuff. Hit him, that heals me for a little bit. Also got his little, <coughs> like, support item off, so. We probably have to give this. <laughs> uh, it's like 1 HP. It's a bit too low to salvage. Just chilling. I mean, I'm not able to do anything <clears throat> versus these two without my own teammates also being here. I'm not strong enough yet to 1v2. I probably should be going bot eventually too. Just start this. Did I hit her? No, I didn't. Oof. TP coming in. This fight's awkward. Oh, am I dead? Yup, definitely dead. I knew it was not a good fight to take. I should've just backed off. <clears throat> it's my fault. I knew it was bad because they 
No. <coughs> we didn't have Samira with us yet. So it was a 4v5 because they, they were all together. And I, I couldn't hit a good E to like ulti anybody. So it was just awkward from the beginning. That's okay though. Because we hadn't even spiked yet. The spike point is the two core. <coughs> and there's better ways of like having engages with like having flash and things. So it's fine. It's okay. <coughs> Dragon will be super good for us. <clears throat> Does this guy even die? Why does this Vlad seem so weak? Wow, he couldn't even kill a 1 HP Hoi. That's bad. <laughs> Yikes. I can't even really do anything. So I guess we give the dragon. I can't go bot because I'll die. Like maybe because they could collapse on me. So I got nothing to do. I'm mid, I guess. <laughs> I could ulti her. She probably wouldn't reaction speed it. I'll just do jungle camps for the time being, and then I'll go top. Or I'll just do golems now, because Kindred's going top. <laughs> oh, is she actually caught? No. Man, we are never prepped to do a fight ever, huh? It's tragic. <laughs> like, what is Kindred damage? Did that guy not have ult? <laughs> The, the Zaya had ult the entire time, and she just didn't use it. <clears throat> I'll ride this. Yo, Kindred! Oh, nice. Nice play. <coughs> I landed a two-man uh, hit. I was like, man, I have to ulti this, right? Come on. Like, to hit two of them just right there, and they're already kind of low, I, I was hoping that we could maybe get them, and it worked out in the end, so nice. Huge. We have our next item as well. What do I want to go? What the hell is this? Never seen that item before. <laughs> no, I spent so long getting those. Hit him. Doesn't really matter though. We need to focus on Baron next. I guess I'll go top for now. If I leave mid, surely my team doesn't just immediately die. Right? Go top lane, push this out, then go back to my team and help them. Did 
doesn't look like we can do anything, I think. It's all up to Rel to find the pick. <coughs> I'm trying to get movement speed here. Dang it. If I landed that, I would have ultied. That would have been a good one. That could have been a, a kill onto their jungler so we could do Baron. I got nothing to do. Let me just go top again. <clears throat> they are just walking in. Yo, this is good. This is good. I'm just going to solo ulti this guy. This guy is too important to not just kill. I'm so fast. My movement speed is so crazy. Huge Vladimir flank. Nice. <coughs> Another good fight, boys. I don't have as many kills as last game, but I still feel like I just can't lose. Versus certain team comps, it, it feels like Lilia just wins. <laughs> the mobility, the insane team fighting. I feel invincible. As long as I play it correctly. Just slow trade. I'm not going to try to go for that guy because I have no idea what uh, if she has ult or not, so... If I had ultimate, I could probably kill her. Because I would just ulti, land center, bop. Center bop does 812. <laughs> so they would take 1,000 damage, technically. Because the wake up is about 300, so 1.1k-ish. That's not even countering Conqueror, too. When I have Conqueror up, I do even more. <coughs> Rylize is done. I mean, Kindred seems to just carry it, right? Dang it, man. Nice juke. Can't get her. GG, enemy team. Is there a way that they can even come back at this point? Doesn't feel like it. They have not won a single fight in so long. <coughs> they just always lose. I kind of want to try the Shadow Flame build. I wonder if the Shadow Flame build would be really good. I would deal... I deal 10% over 3 seconds. I burn them for 35 a second for 3 seconds. And then I have Landry's, which burns for 2%. This doesn't last 3 seconds. It's like 6 seconds. Do I want to ult to you? Is it worth it? I'm level 16 now. Dude, if they send everybody, I wonder if I can win. I want to try. Send literally everybody for me. As long as I'm fully stacked on movement speed, I'm down to try. <clears throat> it's the only threat that I have. Getting CC'd and I'm, I'm really slow. I don't want to solo ult you, even though I totally can. My team's fighting without me. <laughs> no. Got the burn. You're just burning to death. Nice! <laughs> nice roleplay. 
Well, GG. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the two Lilia mid games on uh, this pretty strong pick. I I really enjoy playing Lilia, and I'm glad that I'm able to play her more realistically again with not like ruining my uh, my build by going tier first or something because it it really was frustrating how fast you would run out of mana. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed both of the games <laughs> and learned something about playing this this new build that came out. <coughs> <clears throat> My damage dealt cannot be the highest. It's probably Kindred. Because there is plenty of fights where Kindred was killing and I didn't get to contribute a single thing. So I'm going to give it to her because she popped off so damn hard. GG's second most damage. Honestly, I'll take it, dude. That's not that bad. So thanks for watching again. See you guys later. Goodbye.